turned out to be your husband. No, I was your type after I won. <laughs> oh, after you won already. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I had never had the opportunity to meet the other men. Uh -huh. <laughs> really? Oh uh -huh. I married right away. Margie married Antonio Florendo Jr., businessman. Their union has been blessed with two daughters. This is a dog over here. Oh, so you want a big dog? First of all, I started in the advertising agency, and then I went, to, I was 12 years in the travel business, uh, house of travel in Manila. So I really couldn't imagine myself relocating, but um, I had to because my family was there. And uh, since we started the resort, uh, Pearl Farm Beach Resort in Samar Island, it was uh, something that I started a business and um, uh, together with, uh, with the corporation. So at least now I'm busy and I have uh, um, a, a role to play there in Davao and we started tourism in Davao. When you go out to Manila, even in the province, do people uh, treat you differently? Well, of course, they still treat me like the same way they used to be. They used to before. It was, oh, I'm just Miss Universe and all <laughs> that, no? And uh, they always uh, still look up to me for that. But sometimes, you know, I get embarrassed because it's 21 years ago. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's your family life like uh, uh, in Davao? It's quite quiet, you know. There's not too much um, entertainment there or... Uh, parties it, it's quite you know a very regimented also you know you work go home and stay with your children I'm working with that yes mommy mm. <laughs> mommy mm. Why are you, <laughs> you have two young lovely daughters and when they're of age would you consider them joining any of these beauty contests i have mixed feelings about it you know i want to be selfish <laughs> you want only one Miss Universe in the family? <laughs> no, it's not that. Uh, you know, I, I selfish in sense that I don't want to expose them. Oh. <laughs> you know, but uh, it's their choice. How do you do it, giving birth and uh, losing weight? What's your beauty regimen? No, no. <laughs> just exercise. I just have a husband who nags me all the time and tells me that I'm so fat, that I'm so fat, so fat. But being married man. to uh, someone who knows how to cook or a family uh, who knows how to cook. No, uh, bomb does not. Cook, but he knows how to eat. Oh, but uh, of course, every spoon that you put in your mouth, he, he tells it. Parabang he has this accusing look, you know. In many ways, the counselor's politics complements Gloria's film career. Both are outgoing, but Gloria professes her priority remains her family. How does it feel like being a wife to a politician? A politician, um, good and bad. I mean, I'm used to I'm used to having somebody who's surrounded by people, because I myself am in the same thing in movies, and bad because I think he has much, much less time. He already had very little time before, <laughs> but he has even less time now. Quite often he goes to all the patais, binyag, <laughs> marriage <laughs> ceremonies. Sometimes we argue about it. He says, if you don't believe me, come with me, you know, and stuff like that. And I said, it's not that. I mean, you didn't know them when they were alive, but apparently that is a um, habit, no? <laughs> I don't think she has to be reminded. I also like to go out and see what's going on outside. But somehow I always make it my priority to get home, say dinner, and uh, lunch, and stuff like that, and try to come home early. I want them to realize what I am into, to, to know the, the good things that come with it, uh, the difficult things that come with it. I think it's good. I'm proud that I'm in the movies and that I was a beauty queen. Are you going to be Miss Universe? What is the name? What's your name? Abo what? Miss Universe? Of San Lorenzo? No. Show me no Miss Universe. And you're going to be Miss Universe? No. Would you consider allowing your two lovely daughters to join the movies or even join the beauty contest later on? Um, I'd rather not. 
I'd rather that they be a career person. I think one beauty contestant in, in our family, in the Daza family, may be a movie. When they are 25, the way I do, I don't know who 25. But I think beauty contest, I, I don't want to, them to feel the pressure. Thank you. to a different ownership, but it has been the same. It's a very classic, the most popular contest um, in the world. And uh, that's why the Department of Tourism is also, again, taking advantage because of the mileage it can bring to our country. Mm -hmm. Margie, many people are criticizing the uh, holding of the Miss Universe in the Philippines, considering we are a third world nation and we're faced with our economic crisis. Um, half of our country, our population lives below the poverty line. Mm -hmm. Is it right for us to hold the Miss Universe contest here, considering all these uh, problems of the country? But it doesn't mean we can't enjoy certain, you know, entertainment in our lives. In fact, uh, all the more, I think that we should uh, welcome uh, such happy moments, no? There are other countries that, that has, uh, in Central America and South America who are as, as uh, third world as we are, and they have taken advantage uh, of the opportunity to receive so, I mean, it is a, an advantage, and if you remember in 1974, it started the tourism industry in the Philippines, despite of all our problems. Indonesia is spending $200 million to promote their tourism for this year, and they say we're spending 150 million pesos. I know that there are priorities like the poverty, mm. housing, and everything else, including in, in, our, in Makati itself. Mm. I think it is a good venue, as long as we don't overspend. Mm. And who is to say what is overspending? The only thing we can do, do is throw negative things instead mm. of, okay, sama-sama, nandiyan na, to put our best foot forward. Yes, yes, yes. After all, we have very limited funds. What can we do, hindi ba? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How would you uh, uh, describe a beautiful woman? Mm -hmm. uh, what is beauty to you, Margie? Um, to me, uh, beauty is somebody who has impact, you know, maybe they call it the X factor, you mm. know, when you see a person, they grow, they, they, uh, their beauty grows on you, and, the, and it must come from not just physical beauty, but also the personality that they carry. I um, balance my diet and I, and I exercise, so I, you know, to eat, as you grow older, <laughs> you really have to, mm. to work harder at it. I think being in movies and being a public person as I am, one of the biggest challenges, of course, is to lose weight, right? Yeah. <laughs> Which is very, mm -hmm. people might think, you know, it just happened overnight, but of course it took a lot knowing that a lot of, uh, I mean, you know how people always feel that mm -hmm. they own you. Like many times I see somebody and says, oh, bro, kamusta ka? Oh, ang taba mo, you know, or something. They always it's feel the they have the right. thing to say. There will always be pros and cons. Some people will say it, 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 uh, how do you say it exploits women. Some people will say it has its own excuse for being. Of course, for myself, I, I feel that, of course, it's good, it's nice, it's fun, but definitely it's not end all of, uh, of everything. They should not make know? it the world. I mean, it's yeah. not the whole thing. 